we come to this beautiful temple of Sri Bhatran Vihari Ji. So we all know this pastime of Krishna stealing the garments of the Vrajavadhus. Krishna then left and he came and joined because by this time the sun had arisen and it was bright morning and Balaramji had taken care of Mother Jashoda and everything, telling that Krishna had left early. So then Krishna, he came and joined the cowherd boyfriends because when Krishna came and joined his friends, it is said that Krishna, he was feeling not bad, but he was feeling that Radharavan Maharaj explains that he was thinking that he has probably, you know, done something which can be misinterpreted by the worldly people who do not understand the position of Krishna. So therefore, Krishna, he was so, I mean, Krishna doesn't have to think like this. But Krishna is thinking like this because Krishna did not want unscrupulous people to take refuge of this Leela of Krishna's and engage in unwanted activities with, you know, the, uh, with girls. So therefore, Krishna, he, what he was feeling was a little remorse. He said that this, what I have done, for what I have done, I should actually fast. Mm -hmm. Because generally, before Mother Jashoda would, you know, Krishna would leave from the for, for forest, Mother Jashoda would feed Krishna very nicely. And she would give them also nice, you know, um, yogurt and rice and everything for the entire day that they would, you know, eat during the day. But today Krishna said, no, today I will not eat anything from even the forest I will not take. The forest is the giver of fruits. You know, such beautiful fruits are laid up in the forest, in all the trees. So many fruits are there. If they are, the cowherd boys would get hungry, they would just climb the trees, pluck the fruits and eat. So then Krishna, he said, as a repentance, which was not required for Krishna to do, but as a repentance, he said, just to set an example, he said, I will not take anything today from Mother Nature directly because I may have violated some things of the Mother Nature in the form of stealing the garments from the gopis. So therefore, Krishna did not eat all the fruits, the roots that the forest of Vrindavan had to offer, that Mother Nature had to offer. So when Krishna... And the cowherd boys, they were grazing nicely. They were playing nicely. The gopas, they complained that they were hungry. They asked Sri Krishna about obtaining some food. And he sent them to beg some from a group of brahmanas who were performing a sacrifice nearby. But these brahmanas, they, they just ignored the boys, thinking, Krishna? Shri Krishna is just an ordinary human being, just a little boy. What can he do? So the boys, they returned disappointed. But the Lord again sent them off, advising them, now go and ask some food from the wives of the Brahmana. Shri Krishna tells his friends, tell the wives of the Brahmanas that I have come here with Lord Sankarsana. They will certainly give you all the food you want for they are the most affectionate toward me. And indeed, their intelligence resides in me alone. The cowherd boys then went to the house where the brahmanas' wives were staying. There, the boys saw those chaste ladies sitting nicely decorated with fine ornaments. Bowing down to the Brahmana's ladies, the boys addressed them in all humility, telling them that Krishna Balaram are hungry, taking along in a large vessel all kinds of foods full of fine tastes and aromas. All the ladies went forth to meet their beloved just as the rivers flow naturally towards the sea. And from a distance they saw Krishna standing with Balaram under a kadamba tree. And they were com 
completely mesmerized by his beauty. Krishna's complexion was dark blue and his garment was golden, wearing a peacock feather, colored minerals, springs of flowered buds and a garland of forest flowers and leaves. He was dressed just like a dramatic dancer. He was rested one hand upon the shoulder of a friend and the other he twirled a lotus. Lilies graced his ears, his hair hung down over his cheeks and his lotus-like face was smiling. They lovingly offered Krishna, Balaram, and the cowherd boys all the prasadam of rice, dal, sabjis, and completely satisfied them. And here, in this very place where this pastime occurred, we take the darshan of Sri Sri Radha Bhatron Bihari Ji. So this temple of Sri Sri Radha Bhatron Bihari Ji is on a little hell, hill. And because here at this place, Krishna ate rice, which means bhat in Vrajabhasha or in Hindi, that is why he's named as Bhatron Bihari. And this very unique name of Krishna also means that Krishna is the protector. Bhat Bharta. Bharta means one who is the protector. So he is literally meaning husband or protector. So he's the Bhatron Bihari.